Good morning, America. Stinkies, mouth breathers. <laughs> On making America great again. Roll it. Great again. That's his, been his mantra since he's run in 2015. Uh -huh. What does that mean? What is again? When was America great? Uh oh. <laughs> Well, that question right there says everything that I need to know about about you, that you don't really think America was ever great at any time. What? How did you come to that conclusion so quickly? <laughs> I think America was great. The spirit, the whole purpose for America was about the American spirit, coming here and making something for yourself and having the opportunity to do that for yourself, to work hard. And that's what America is all about. So. <laughs> okay. And what's stopping you from doing it now? <laughs> what a word salad. The people that hate America will always say, well, when was it ever great? It's just not a very good attitude to have. <laughs> My opinion. And when was that lost in, in your estimation? Um, I think a lot of it was lost when the Federal Reserve took over the money system. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is the dumb blonde's dumb cousin. <laughs> we need to go back to a gold and silver backed system where currency is, is it counts. So, what? <laughs> you're not allowed to work hard and mind in this country anymore, according to this woman with <laughs> ever remain on a hat or even to be seen from outer space. <laughs> Stinky's racist chimes in. <laughs> They might get back like it was in the 60s. Before all the civil rights stuff. Before all the civil rights stuff. <laughs> when you didn't have to respect minorities is what this racist scumbag is saying. So you would like to see things go back to before the civil rights stuff? Oh, yeah. You're damn tootin'. <laughs> People have the freedom in this country. Well, yeah, you had it. They didn't. You selfish, racist prick. Certain, certain groups didn't have as much at, at the time, right? Right, they didn't. You're damn right. And that's the way we should go back to. <laughs> they didn't have it much at the time. But we still gotta get back. Where they yeah, that, in other words, the hell with them. Let's go back to being all white again. <laughs> Stand up for this country. Yes, we certainly do have to get back. <laughs> and she is confused. <laughs> Shut up and just stand there, you bitch. <laughs> get a load of this ignorant dumb shit. <laughs> She questioned the election results of 2016. In a little bit of a different way, though. No, no, no. no. Really like Stop! Look at those teeth. <laughs> We could put him at the entrance of a party, right? <laughs> Tie his hands behind his back and him be the Coca-Cola bottle opener with his teeth. <laughs> and what's up with that nose here? How do you wake up in the morning, right? And not notice that thing. <laughs> Continue. Actually questioned the outcome. Hillary Clinton conceded the election the next day, the day after the election. You don't see how that's different than Donald Trump spending not only months, but years after the election, undermining every institution. Uh-oh. <laughs> Coca-Cola here <laughs> has been stumped. <laughs> tell me, tell me an institution he undermined. Uh-oh. Every institution, every institution. Well, let me ask you this. Do you trust Bill Barr? No. No. Do you trust the DOJ? No. no. Do you trust the FBI? No. No. <laughs> All undermined. <laughs> Let's see what Stumpy has to say, Mr. Coca-Cola. Well, they should be undermined. The FBI was lying. <laughs> <laughs> so they should be undermined? Oh, that nose hair. Something I don't want to be focused on, but continue, Coca-Cola. Front of Congress. In a moment. I'm <laughs> <laughs> what a mouth breather. 